flesh, bones, and blood of the earth. There's a fire and water within me, and the air that I breathe of the world. And I know deep within me I live on and on, like the waters of life and the salt in the sea. I live on and on, but I don't yet know where. Where the waters of life and the salt of the sea they dissolve. There's a wind and it blows and it thunders, and the rains come and go on the plains. Once I saw you there standing before me, and now I am here all alone. And I know deep within me you live on and on like the waters of life and the salt in the sea. You live on and on, but I don't get. When the waters of life and the salt of the sea they dissolve. A dying father summoned his son and told him, "This is the pouch I am handing over to you. It has got gold coins." Whenever you are in need, you can take coins from this bag, and once all the coins get finished, then you must just say three magic words, and the pouch will get filled with coins again. But before. His father could utter those three magical words. He breathed his last. The son was unhappy. He could not hear those magic words, and yet, with. All sincerity, he continued living his life, and whenever he was in need of money, he would take out one gold coin and use it. Many years passed, and one day. When there was a dire need of money, he approached the pouch, and he saw there is only single coin remaining. And then he started thinking, "What I should do with this? If I use this, then the pouch will become empty, and I will—I don't know even those magic words." So he decided to donate that coin to a needy person, and he saw an extremely poor, improvised beggar coming that way, and he handed over that coin to that pauper.
The beggar was extremely exhilarated. He had never expected a golden coin. He has the habit of receiving alms of just a few simple coins. And suddenly that beggar said, Thank you, God. And with those words, the pouch got filled again with gold coins. And the son realized, these are those magical words, the three magic words. Today is Murli deals with three magic words. Who am I? Who am I? This is <coughs> the Dharma. Whatever you do is just the external expression of internally who you are. Whenever a person comes and says, what should I eat? The answer is, it depends on who you are. People keep on asking, what should we eat? Should we eat fruits? Should we eat raw? Should we become vegan? Should we continue on the vegetarian path? Or we bring about some changes? The question is not important. The most important thing is who you are. It depends on that. So, in this Murli, Baba has used different words to explain what is dharma. And the most important definition of dharma is saman. And saman is who am I? And saman is self-respect. And saman is right. And saman is titles. And saman is the labels. Just as in the colleges, you get degrees here. You have got degrees. But the goal of spirituality is to transcend all the labels and all the titles. Where everything becomes natural. But when you are groping in the dungeon of darkness, These titles, these labels, these samans, these self-respects, these rights, this puzzle, this conundrum of who am I, appears like a beacon of light that guides you through the tunnel of darkness into the realm of light. So, titles, degrees, labels, rights, summons, puzzle of who am I, all this Baba has used one singular word and that is Dharma. This Dharma will decide your karma. And they are linked with each other, just as God and soul are linked with each other, just as Jnana and Yoga are linked with each other. These two are linked with each other. What you are doing depends upon what you are imbibed. 
And this self-respect also has got few stages. One is to know, I am this, I am that. Just as a son of a king got lost. And after many, many years he was found. And the minister identified him because of some tattoo mark, birthmark. And he was brought back. He was begging on the street. And the minister reminded him, What are you doing? You are the prince. And the moment he was told he is prince, he threw the begging ball. And he said, where are my clothes, royal clothes? And he wore the clothes. And now he is walking like this, as if a king. Till now he was begging from last ten years, having lost his identity. And now he is ordering. The moment he realized, I am king. The begging business, Shut down. So it is the remembrance. It is the realization of who am I. So the moment you realize who you are, things change. So this Oman, this self-respect, these labels, these degrees, these rights, adhikar, they all will dictate then. Baba has given many saman. You are world benefactor. So, the moment you realize that, then how can your actions be waste? It will be appropriate. Once you realize that you are world benefactor, you are you have come for world transformation. You are the compassionate one. You are the bestower of blessings. Baba also reminded of purity pledge in this murli. So, what are the three stages of Soman? One is to know them. First you did not know who you were and now you know who you are. But this is not suffice. The next step is you accept it. Because for a long time you have lived in a very low consciousness, in body consciousness. So to accept higher consciousness takes time. The mind is not ready. Or rather it is happy with lower consciousness. If you ask a mosquito, would you like to become an elephant? He will say, no, I am happy with my wife and my children. He is living in a dirty, filthy place. And yet that filthy place is a heaven for that mosquito. Because he is used to it. He is accustomed to that living of low consciousness and body consciousness. He is accustomed to live as a slave. And the slaves don't dream, don't think of becoming king. If they do, then slavery no more remains. The serfdom goes away. will break the chains. So the second is to accept. Yes, I am this. You are born for a great purpose. Baba said this is... You are not ordinary souls. You have come as an incarnation to shake this earth. People, the worldlings, are in deep slumber of ignorance. Shake them. 
wake them up blow the trumpet light the torch beat the drums the lord has come and the most important thing is the saman should become the part and parcel of your life baba said it should become your sanskar very nature and that sanskar is like a key just as there is a toy you apply key it will start dancing it may fall it depends on what key you have applied similarly sanskar is just like a key so these from this self respect should become key natural and it will require some practice so the question is about formation of new habit the habit of soman the habit of self respect the sanskar the habit the new nature the new normal post covid world is called new normal now this is the new and this is the normal you have lived in low consciousness that was normal for you but that's not normal that's abnormal a person is eating salt and he thinks this is the sweetest thing in the world unless and until somebody gives him sugar but he resist he says no this salt is the sweetest thing i don't want this i never tasted and i don't want i don't want to even try but he is forced take this and then he realize oh what i was relishing till now is absolutely insipid any now so also the divine love is nectar the divine knowledge is nectar when you taste this nectar of divine love of love of god all the worldly love earthly loves lose their test lose their flavor so make this your habit and baba said this is the swing one is gyan and another is yoga in the similar manner one is karma and another is dharma no matter what happens even if i have to die i will not relinquish dharma dharat baba has given a hindi phrase for that so make a saman book when you write a saman now two columns one is dharma and another is karma so karma depends on who you are what you think you are i think i am a great soul so what should my karma be my actions would be in sync with that thought that identity so from the murli take out such important points of self respect i am compassionate i am pure soul never give up this purity baba said to new ones the newcomers to create your own purity pledge dance in higher consciousness keep checking master sanskars seats are limited baba said you know advertisements limited seats hurry up please here also seats are limited but it's still open the two led board has yet not been put so achieve spiritual heights become a spiritual giant reach the zenith the summit the highest point of spirituality what is it experience that now from that nadir reach to the zenith the highest point
and see how it feels like when you live persistently in higher consciousness. You don't feel like to come down. Because you have seen living at lower consciousness is full of distress, confusion. So this is about today's Murli. Read it once, twice, understand it, find out new points, go in silence, go in nature, read it, churn it, visualize it, understand it. Tell to others, narrate it, relate it, ponder upon it, give test on it, check yourself. And be the embodiment of the spiritual teachings. Om Shanti.